the PC-21, this took over from the PC-9 that we're all used to. Now this is a far more capable aircraft, but it's not just the aircraft, it's a part of the system. Yeah, the systems inside are just incredible. Um, I actually did my pilot training on the PC-9, so to have the, you know, the opportunity to fly both aircraft is just fantastic. But uh, coming back to the PC-21 just this year, and uh, the systems inside, it just made flying spectacular. Now, I've been told that the training in this aircraft can actually be ratcheted up from when you do your first flight till when you're fully qualified and the skill levels are added and added, but it's on the same aircraft system. Yeah, correct. So when uh, someone first starts their basic pilot training, they're going to learn the absolute basics. So they're going to have the hut off, they're not going to be using navigation displays, no autopilot, anything like that. So From the front now, fantastic photo opportunity for the roulette slide and brake. Now that is very special. Yeah, both parts of the the no defensive armament. I believe Elon Musk has uh, hired it to take photos of his new Starship when it eventually launches and lands in the ocean, the first one. Wow. Aviation Museum. David Lowy donated all of uh, his aircraft, including this machine, to the Air Force, and also the magnificent collection of the What we haven't seen them do though is uh, to pay the, the little bumper skid there to stop the rear uh, view the large uh, touching the deck. Yep, not this too outstanding. Fill your photo buffer getting all that. Designed for very, very short field landings. 
the uh, engines have the capability of reverse thrust, so it can actually slow down in a hurry, and it uh, can also reverse in the parking spot. Yeah. Went over to North America. Yeah, they had a turtle back as well, not the bubble tank. Oh yes, they uh, they all came out looking for the But I believe this particular aircraft is one of the licensed built ones made here in Australia by Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation. Yes, the uh, 15,000 or 16,000 plus of these that were built, we were the only other go back in again they said nope Open, so we'll see if I'm right on this one. And if they do, this is where they carry torpedoes and air sea rescue kits, as Ando was saying. No.
and here they are. A couple of Spitfires in to uh, save the day and drive off the Butcher Bird. The uh, 190 was an incredible aircraft. The British uh, test pilot, Eric Brown, said that it had a rate of roll that would actually tear the wings off the Spitfire. Well, hopefully we don't see that today, and it uh, looks like the uh, Spitfires are going into a tail chase to see if they can run them down. I do remember Chris saying he could probably outrun them. Spitfire was the hero of the Battle of Britain, but it was actually the Hurricane that uh, did most of the work. The Spitfire being more the poster child. And the uh, election. And folks, just a reminder, you can come on down to close here to the uh, commentary and Unicom Tower, where the big white uh, tent with roulettes on it and the roundels and so on. Beautiful constellation. design of the wing, if you look at it in, look at that magnificent wing. Body smoking that. <laughs> totally. just to clean the aircraft out before yep. they uh, turned a spanner on it. And getting a lot of support from Qantas to get discounted flights over there. Yeah, I have been the 100 hour war. 
and he said, easy, gentleman's aerobatic. Yeah. This aircraft is very good at displaying and a lot of fun to be in. I've been in, uh, not this particular airframe, but... The fighter aircraft that has ever seen combat. They uh, produced just under 14,000 of them, and we had a lot of work goes into working out how this formation actually goes together, and then how to pull it apart safely. I'll let you listen to the sound of this mass formation. All of these World War II aircraft are jets, trainers, Justin, he's uh, doing some reserve work with the RAF. Uh, they've been doing drone racing today. And uh, talk about some amazing pilotage, first person view as you're flying these drones. It's just insane and really amazing reflexes. Well, all you've got to do. On the drone front, there's a lot of work with uh, uncrewed aerial systems going ahead. There's a few on the Australian Defence Register, ADFC. I don't think we quite have the same effect of doing an air show with a bunch of drones. Quite fascinating, and you know, watching everyone come back in and continuous stream of air. Good opportunity. Beautiful engine, Pratt with the F-135. Generates 28,000 pounds of thrust normally, dry, but with afterburner 43,000 pounds. You see?
give him a wave when he waggles the wings. Then a pull up for what they call a split S reverse. There he is, give him a wave. Look how quickly he... Oh! 